everyone. Are you getting a new puppy soon? I'm going to divide this into what I think are essential right away and then the fun stuff. Now we're starting to get into the fun stuff. Kongs. Anyone who's watched any of my videos knows how much I believe in the Kong. When your puppy is a tiny puppy, they should have the puppy Kong that's softer and it comes in all three sizes. If your dog is under 10 pounds, start with the small Kong. Soon, if you have a medium or large breed puppy, you will then move to the medium sized Kong. This is up to 30 pounds, 35 pounds. And when they're about four months old, you'll go to the large Kong, which is between 35 and 65 pounds. The puppy Kong is softer to help your puppy before they start to get in their permanent teeth. Lots of fillers for the Kongs and you can see many videos I have of what I use to put in my Kongs. Licky mats. This is a great way for your puppy to have their meal. Some pictures of how to fill the licky mat and my dogs loving their licky mat. Now I take their dog food, I add a little bit of pumpkin and or yogurt and I make it into a paste and I smear it on the licky mat. Great way to help your dog to take their time to eat their dinner. Here's one of my dog's favorites. It's called the Nina Otison Dog Brick. Here's a video of Snoop working on his dog brick. Now he just got this the day before and he's having so much fun getting the treats out of the dog brick. The owners using the Pure Bites chicken can also use the Wellness Soft Bites that break up into tiny pieces. So the dog brick is great. Here's a snuffle mat. Now you have to watch with the baby puppies that they're not gonna eat the pieces of felt. A lot of dogs would love this. You set it out flat. You set it down and you put some treats in it. And you can make it into a bowl or you can make it stay flat, put it down on the ground, and your puppy root through the snuffle mat to find the treats. Or you can use dry dog food. Those are two of my favorite puzzle games, and they're also great for using your puppy's brain. Because remember, physical exercise is great, but mental exercise is fantastic. This is the tricky treat, roll a treat ball. And you put treats in, here's a picture of my girls, with the tricky treat ball, rolling it, the treats come out, and they're having a great time with their roll a treat ball. I spoke about treats, that you want something that is made and sourced in, the, in North America. But you can see right there on the top, it says sourced and made, USA. That's what you're looking for. So I use the Wellness Bites, I use the Pure Bites Chicken, I like the Crump's Natural Sweet Potato Chips. That's what I use for my dog. There are a lot of good treats out there. Just look for the USA flag or the statement made and sourced in the USA. Whatever size bully stick you use. Now there are bully stick holders. There's one pictured right there where you actually attach the holder to the bully stick and let your dog chew it so they can't get that little piece at the end that they're gonna swallow. Bully sticks are good and great if you watch your dog. Same with the twist. When my dog is chewing on this, I'm watching very careful. And if she gets down to a piece like that, we do a lot of trading with chicken and throw it away. When you get a new puppy, you need the snuggle puppy. Now, I don't have one here, but every home I go into, I see the snuggle puppy. I'm not getting a new puppy. I'm giving you a list that for you to have when you get your puppy. But that would be the first thing I would buy is a snuggle puppy because it has the heartbeat. It has the warmth. In olden days, before the snuggle puppy, we used to put in a hot water bottle wrapped in a towel so that the puppy thought they were laying next to their litter mate because it was warm. Now they have the snuggle puppy. Greatest thing in the world. 
Here's a picture of a puppy with a snuggle puppy. Toys are always fun. When I buy a toy, this one squeaks, I make sure that the eyes, nose, there's nothing there my puppy can bite off or chew. I love this one. This is the squirrel in the little house and the puppy gets to pull the, the little ones out. Even my older dogs love this. And they pull out all the little squirrels till it's empty. And never have enough toys, right? This one I like because it crinkles. It's got the squeaker. It's got different things. It's got the nose and the ears. But it's also got that squeakle, squinkle. And that's good for your puppies as well. Well, that's it. That's my list that I tell people are essential and then fun and essential for a new puppy. What is on your list? Can you leave a comment as to what I forgot? What you think is essential for your puppy? I'll put some videos above so that you can see the dogs playing with the different toys. Thank you. Please remember, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.